In quantum physics, we have a problem. It's called the measurement problem. Put very simply, the more we know the position of a quantum particle, the less certain we are of the momentum. And if we know the momentum really well, then we can't be quite sure of the position. There is a logical explanation of the measurement problem. If the universe is explained as a continuum with an emergent future unfolding relative to the atoms of the periodic table, when we look down into the atoms, we find there is no concept or flow of time in the subatomic world within the atoms. All we have is part charge or fractions of charge. And this is logical. If what we see and feel as the passage of time is formed by a process of energy exchange that is relative to the electron probability cloud that surrounds the nucleus of the atom, we have the spontaneous absorption and emission of light in the form of photon energy forming the ever-changing world of our everyday life with the movement of positive and negative charge with the flow of electromagnetic fields this represents an emergent process with the future unfolding with each photon electron coupling or dipole moment in our everyday life we measure this process as a period of time relative to the atoms of the periodic table and the wavelength of the light each one of us has an emergent uncertain future that will be relative to our position and the energy and momentum of our actions the uncertainty of everyday life is represented at the smallest scale of this process by Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. In such a theory, we can have a logical understanding of the measurement problem. It is the same problem we would have measuring any future event. We have a process of continuous energy exchange, or what I like to call continuous creation, with energy and mass being emergent properties that form the uncertainty of everyday life. As part of an emergent process, energy slows the rate the time flows, forming the time dilation of Einstein's relativity, with the curvature of space-time representing a geometrical reason for gravity as part of one universal process. I will place links here that explains this in greater detail. Thanks for watching. Please sub and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.